What is the difference between the types of zinc and what should be used? Zinc is just chelated to different amino acids, different substances. So we can have a zinc picolinate, we can have a zinc glycinate, a zinc citrate, a zinc sulfate, a zinc uh, carnosine. So there's different variables of zinc and they all have their place. So if I know someone has high zonulin, leaky gut, candida infiltration, H. pylori, a lot of gut malabsorption, dysbiosis, start with zinc carnosine on an empty stomach. Now that's the only time I'm going to tell you to take zinc on an empty stomach because you have to heal that leaky gut and so you'd have to take it on an empty stomach, zinc carnosine. Then you can come in with the other zincs with food to decrease the symptoms of nausea and cramping in the gut and all that type of stuff. So zinc is in nature, it's bound to proteins, it's bound to other metals, but it's not bound to the sugars and the carbohydrates. So try to take zinc with high protein meals for better absorption. So I like all the zincs. You can use the different zincs. So start with the zinc carnosine first thing in the morning, especially for the leaky guts. Then come in with the zinc picolinate at lunch. Then come in with perhaps a zinc sulfate or a zinc glycinate at dinner time or before bed. And I dose zinc based on the sodium potassium ratio so I can get a feel how aggressive or not so aggressive I can go with zinc. So we can even dose zinc with micro dosing for the real sensitive ones. And we can even come in with zinc as a tissue salt for the real sensitive ones. So that's the difference between some of the zinc chelates and stuff like that, but use them all. Don't have prejudice because at the end of the day, zinc will be absorbed by the body and each one has its beauty. But generally speaking, I think they're all about the same as far as being absorbed. That's what I have found in my 20 years of dosing zinc.